Our next guest has never been afraid to share with us his highs and his lows. One thing we know for sure, on and off the court, we're always there to cheer him on. Please welcome author, reality star, and basketball champion, Lamar Odom. Hey, ladies. Hey, Lamar. Hey, Lamar. Hey, Lamar. How you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Never been better. I'm blessed. Hey, man. I hear that. Where are you calling mm -hmm. in from? I'm um, in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty oh, wow. warm. Okay, well, it's, pretty, it's pretty warm here today. It's like 72, so it's beautiful outside. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. We need that That's sunshine. Great. Well, Lamar, right. the last time that you were here with us, you were with your fiance, Sabrina Parr. And mm. we all know that relationship has since ended. And you have been pretty open about your feelings since then, which I was really respect. Is it safe to yeah. say that she hurt you? Um, yeah, in every which way. Um, very mm. deceitful. Um, you know, I used to really like take her word for everything. And um, she was like really lying to me the whole time. But I guess she got what she what she wanted when that was the blue check. So I guess I was good for something. What do you think it is that she wanted? Um, like clout or fame in some kind of way. Mm. I mean, this girl, I mean, just just think about this. She um her and her deceitful manager. Um, like they supposed to drop this reality show. They never even they didn't even tell me that they were putting it out. Like what kind of who moves like wow, who moves? Wow, so you like never that? even knew? No. How did you no. find out about wow. it? I'm just like how you found out about it. And you know, and I mean, it's just so many things. But you know. Are you in the reality show? I mean, were there cameras around? Yeah, it was just about me and her. I know what I was doing. I know what I signed up for. But I would think that when you were putting it out to the world, you would let me know. That's like a, a, wow. a, a that's a, a grease ball move. Something that I can't yeah. respect from her and that, and that manager do. You know? So I just want to be clear. You you and her were working on a reality show, but yeah. she put it out on her own. We know we shot footage, and her her manager shot put it out on 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 their own, and didn't even let me know they were putting it out. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, no, it's all good. Really it's all good. It's all good. I know I'm favored. Well, I'm glad you're doing. I'm going to win at the end of the day. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing well and living in Atlanta. So how's mm -hmm. it going and what inspired you to make the move? Oh, uh, well, I mean, of course, Atlanta, you know, the, um, the way of life here is, is beautiful. Um, you know, um, the the way of life is black excellence so you can come out here and make a living for yourself and as a single man it's like 25 to one out here so you can come up out here. <laughs> you okay. seem sad lamar you seems very sad i mean well just when i talk about her it, it makes me sad because i don't really like nobody um taking advantage of me especially for for monetary reasons um you know I mean, what do you think know. you can do to bring the happiness back? Is there any recourse you can take? If you felt like she took advantage no, just, of you. Yeah, I'm just going to. Like, just gonna legally, continue. is there I'm, action you can take? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to even take it there. But, you know, I'm going to let her focus on uh, what she should be focusing on. That's getting her child back. Um, you know, mm -hmm. she putting out, she putting out, she putting out there that I'm, you know, doing drugs and, um, you know, and if you know, if you know my past, if you want to hurt my way of making a living, that's the one thing that you can say or bring up to people is um is that I'm doing drugs. You are re-releasing your book, Darkness to Light, which came out yeah. two years ago, and the book went into mm -hmm. detail about a lot of things that you've been through, like the addi addiction and your overdose. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of reaction have you received from the readers? Well, um, it's it's been crazy because you know I've, I've always getting the um. Like people always come up to me and um, always talk about how um, how good of a basketball player I was and um, mm -hmm. reflect on you know my days as a Laker and as a champion as a champion as a six man as a Laker and that feels great. But when people come up to me and tell me that that changed their life um, through that book, it's a different type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Stopping people from suicide, or you know, helping people overcome their addiction, just because of the book, just because of my yeah. truth, is um, almost overwhelming. It's been a blessing. Well, you know what you're going through now. It seems like you should be ready to write a second book. So, will that, you know, are you ready for yeah. that? If you want to write yeah. a second one, 
Yeah, I think I, I, I think I will. And I, I think I'll just reflect on my life, um, you know, after the coma, um, how life's been for me uh, with family, finances, and just everything in my life after the coma. I'm ready to. Do you think... But, you know, because right now, I mean, I feel this sadness. We all feel it. The ladies feel it. Yeah. Do you think it'll mm-hmm. be hard for you to relive the the memories? No. Nah, no, just like with um, writing my, my, my first book, it was um, extremely therapeutic. Probably the best um, therapy session I've ever had. So I look forward to letting loose on, on the next one. Got it. Well, speaking of being a champion, are you still playing basketball and is that therapeutic for you to still you know go and and, and hoop it up yeah i, I hoop a, a, a little bit but right now i'm i'm doing a little bit on boxing for training because i, I don't know oh. if you guys know i got this boxing match coming up on june yeah, you know <laughs> yeah on on june 12th so i've been um using boxing for my training and keeping my mind right mm-hmm. absolutely okay well we have wanted to ask a couple questions about it because it seems really exciting, this boxing mm-hmm. event you got coming up in June. You're yeah. going to take on singer Aaron Carter in a celebrity yeah. boxing match. I want to mm-hmm. ask, what made you do this? And are you guys friends? Did you guys know each other before this? Is this friendly no. or is this like, it's going no, down? No, I've, 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 I've met him, but just how we're talking, um, we, we met okay. and, yeah. and spoke. But I mean, I look forward to it. I've always been a, 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 a huge fan of boxing. Um, I know there's a little um, a little height difference, but I, you know, <laughs> you know just I'm, a little. I, I, so, so you're yeah, so you're gonna I, take I, this I, seriously? I yeah, hell yeah! I use this for retribution for my man Nate Robinson. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> but wait a minute, okay. Lamar, you're not just a little bit taller. You're a whole nine inches. Do you think this <laughs> yeah. is gonna be a fair fight? I think it's like the one punch KO. Come on. Yeah, no, I, it won't. It won't be a fair fight because how serious I'm taking training. <laughs> I'm approaching it. Oh, Are you seriously you, training? Because we don't need another Nate Robinson, okay? No, so no, you no, need to train. No, no, that won't happen. That won't happen. I'm, I'm, and I'm on a business it. level, mm-hmm. on a business level, would you consider becoming a professional boxer? If the purse was right. If the purse was right, mm. I would. <laughs> if the purse was right. All right, well, if the purse was well right, something else on a, business, on a business level that you're currently developing is a CBD product line what inspired yeah. you to do that? Well, probably Talk my aches and pains. Probably my aches and pains. You know, sometimes I wake up a little achy. Mm-hmm. I played 14 seasons um, in the NBA. Um, I tore my mm-hmm. shoulder twice, and I just recently tore my my left shoulder. I tore it twice, and I just recently Ooh. tore my um, my right shoulder. So when How it you go box and you all toe up like that? Oh, well, yeah, not me. I'm good though. Boxing? No, I'm good. I got a stem shot. Um, I got a stem shot um, for my right shoulder. So I'm good. So okay. I'm good. Okay. Mm-hmm. All well, right. Lamar, yeah. we are rooting for you in boxing, in your business ventures, in your in health, life. and definitely mm-hmm. in your heart. We are rooting for you. So thank you. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank, thank you for you. chatting with us today. And good Anytime. luck with everything, especially the box match. Um, you Anytime. can watch Lamar take on Aaron Cap- Carter on June 12th live on pay-per-view.